Hi, Leo. Welcome to your end of February general forecast. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Leo, we're going to look at the energies around you end of February. This could be general, it could be love. Whatever comes out, we're just going to take it. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not fitting for you, it's not your reading. So please keep that in mind. It could be past, present, future, sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Venus, any placements with Leo. This is for you. So Leo. So I'm very sorry. I'm late with your end of February readings. I've been very sick for the past week with the flu. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better now. So hopefully I'm not going to cough too much. I still have this cough. I can't seem to get rid of. So if I do cough, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't really help that, but uh, please bear with me as we go through your reading here. So welcome, Leo. Let's see what's going on um, around you at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. If you'd like to go back, watch past readings. I do have links to your general and love playlist down below in the description box, as well as decks of musing, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to send a gift, donate. All of that information is below, and I'll also pin some of that information to the top comment. So I am uh, planning, as you may have seen some of you, I just hit 10,000 subscribers, um, I don't know, a little over a week ago. But since I've been very sick, I've been planning to do a free reading giveaway along with a deck. And the deck you will win, I will also do your reading with. So um, keep on a lookout for that. Hopefully I'll be able to do that by the end of the month as I'm trying to catch up on readings now. And I do have some personal readings book that I need to get to also. Okay, so Leo. Zodiac Oracle. We could get a sign, element, or a planet. Again, like I said, if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. Oh, this just came out for Pisces. Wow, that is weird. Capricorn. So you could have that in your chart. Um, if you don't know a Capricorn, um, somebody you know could have it heavily in their chart in some way, shape, or form. Or that could be the energy Capricorn does represent the devil in tarot. So we'll see what happens here. And I noticed, uh, Leo, you're five. Fives are about change. And Capricorn is ten, which is about an ending. So there may be some kind of change coming in for you that may cause an ending. I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. Like I said, we're going to take the energies however they come. Maybe about love. It may not be. So whatever we get here, we get... All right, for Leo, the end of, wow. Let's get an opening message for you. So we have daydreaming. Are you daydreaming, Leo? 21 is three. Three is my card. Well, the number usually of people working together, coming together, um, teamwork, collaboration, celebrating kind of energy. So daydreaming about something here. Daydreaming. What are you daydreaming about, Leo? Daydreaming about a wish, a dream? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe going after your dream and your wish? We'll see. So let's get an energy now. What kind of energy are you in right now? Why is that daydreaming here? Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Respect. 15 which is six. Six is a very healing, balancing number. So, hmm. and I see all this fire energy, which is your energy, Leo. Leo Sag Aries, very fiery energy. It's like you're daydreaming about getting respect from somebody or something like that. Hmm, that's an odd energy. So I don't know, we're going to see what's going on here. Or you'll want, you're daydreaming about getting respect from somebody. Um, it could be a co-worker. It could be a boss. It could be a friend, a family member, a lover. It could be anybody here. Or maybe you're daydreaming about giving somebody the respect that you want to give them for some reason. Hmm. Let's see what's on the bottom now. We have two, scrutiny. So two is about partnerships, unity. So... Maybe feel like maybe you feel like you're being scrutinized about something, and maybe you feel like you're not getting the respect you deserve. Um, you could be working hard, you could be doing something, really putting in all your ed effort, your dedicated effort, your hard work, and maybe you feel like you're not getting the respect that you deserve, and you're just being scrutinized, and you daydream about, you know, being respected, um, being, you know. Um, complimented or whatever here 
on all your efforts and hard work. You know, maybe you feel like you're just hanging on a limb. You know, maybe you feel like, maybe you feel like a mouse, like you're just more of a nuisance than you are a help. Huh, Leo. What's going on, Leo? All right. So let's clarify what's going on for you here, Leo. You could be working in partnership with somebody or knowing maybe you have to go into partnership with somebody. Again, it could be work-related or something else for some reason. And <clears throat> sorry, maybe you don't get along with this person very well. And you're thinking about, okay, maybe that's that devil energy. Maybe you know um, this is someone you don't get along with or... Um, or something of that nature and you know it's going to be uh, a lot of tension and you're just daydreaming okay can this just be a respectful situation can we just respect each other instead of scrutinizing each other being a nuisance to each other kind of energy wow okay so that could be um what the five is something has to change in the dynamic in order for something to work a partnership um, I, I, it could be a co-worker, a lover, it could be a friend, I mean, family, anything, whatever, however it makes sense to you. All right, so what are we, three of pentacles. So it could be somebody you're working with. Maybe you're learning something new with somebody at work. And this is somebody maybe you never really got along with. Maybe you just scrutinize each other or you they scrutinized you, made you feel small and petty. Um, more like a nuisance. Because we got a three and a three, so... Maybe you kind of knew that, that this day would come, like something would come in the future where you may have to work with this person in teamwork collaboration. And there may be more than one of you working together. If it's not work, it could be anything. Just, you know, needing to um, work with some reason, with someone for some reason. It could be a project. It could be just something. The hermit, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's retreat mode, like, the hermit's got their back turned to this person, though. So I feel like, you know, you kind of go home at night and you're like, you know, I don't get the respect I deserve. You know, I feel like I'm scrutinized. And then you go home and you really got to dig deep, like, okay, am I, am I doing a good job here? Am I doing what I need to do? Why do I feel this way? Why do they make me feel this way? Why are they, they this way with me kind of energy? And maybe you feel like this person is like a lizard, like very, you know, like slimy kind of energy. Not that lizards are slimy, but I don't know. It's like you're yearning for that respect from this person, but it's like nitpicking with this, um, I don't know, it's a cassowary. I don't even know what that is. Some sort of bird here. It looks like a vulture. So this person, you may deem, see them as like a vulture. Maybe that's that devil energy. Maybe they're just uh, not a nice person. And you're like, oh, why do I have to work with this person? Maybe you're daydreaming. I wish I had, you know, I was doing this with somebody else. Queen of Swords energy. So yeah, they could be kind of cold, you know, and they're not afraid to say uh, what, you know, it's on their mind. Maybe they're kind of cold and cutting with their words. Queen of Swords energy. Four of Pentacles. They could be very stingy uh, here with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, even if they see you doing a good job, if they see you um, accelerating, they see you moving forward, I don't think they really tell you. They kind of hold back um, what they see, how they feel, and they're just kind of cold and slicing instead kind of energy. So Queen of Swords can be kind of, you know, cold and death energy here. So, you know, death is a transforming energy. You know, it could be something coming to an end, but it's also very transforming. So let's see. The star. Is this healing energy? Faith, hope, optimism, which is in dreams coming true. So I feel like whatever you're doing here, I mean, I think you may, may have wished and hoped for it, which is wish dream come true divinely guided for you something meant to be but now I think you're really thinking about it do I really want this you know if I have to deal with this person in this way in this environment in this cold energy just being scrutinized here being tr treated like a little petty mouse 
instead of all the hard work and dedicate, dedicated effort I'm putting in. But I mean, there is uh, transformation here. So this is either just going to make you stronger. And finally, with that Queen of Swords energy, if you know, if it's also that other person it could be you now getting into this Queen of Swords energy also and fighting back and not like going into hermit mode and like biting your tongue and not saying anything, just taking it. <coughs> I think you'll be divinely guided and led here to finally transform and stand your ground and fight back instead of being scrutinized by this person. All right. Let's get the situation here for you, Leo, the world. So closing up chapters, starting new chapters here. Judgment. So wow, getting a lot of majors. So this is could be forgiveness. It can be um, resurrection. It can be making a final judgment call here, a decision. Nine of Cups. So wishes and dreams coming true here. Be careful that you're not overindulging. That's right in the middle of your spread. You know, if you're not in a good space or energy and whatever it is you're doing here with this other person, don't uh, get into that energy of um, overindulging because that's not really going to help anything. Or, <coughs> sorry. I don't know, let's get another one here. So we have the Ace of Swords. This is a big epiphany. Aha moment, a big truth, conversation, cutting out things, not serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any more BS. So that could be you finally just making this judgment call and saying, you know what, it's time I end this cycle of this person scrutinizing me, putting me down, not giving me the recognition I deserve. Um, if we have to work together in the future, now is the time. If I want this wish and dream to come true, I need to put my foot down with this Ace of Swords and not take this anymore. Finally speak up. I'm making that final judgment call to do so. So that you can end this cycle of this whole charade. Ten of Swords. Yeah, ending it. And as I did that, I pull out the Ten of Swords. So yeah, ending this cycle with this person. It could have been an ongoing cycle like for, <laughs> for up to 10 years. I mean, however, maybe you've not worked with them indirectly in some way, however this resonates for you. Now you kind of have to directly work with them. So now it's like with this Ace of Swords, could be you finally getting in that Queen of Swords energy, speaking up for yourself, ending this whole charade with this person, as with the world energy, and the Ten of Swords. Wow. So... Let's get advice, but I do see you finally, you know, being happy and getting, you know, going on with this wish and dream. So I think things will be, will get happier. Advice for, yeah. So things will be more stable and grounded. This will now be built on a firmer foundation in this energy. To growth abundance for the long term. This Ace of Pentacles. Know your value, your worth, your strength. That you can stand up to this person. This is making sense for you. You daydreamed about this and it's here. And now you've got this person that you need to stand up to, I feel, for some of you. Because you do see right here that does remind me of the sun. So, yeah, knowing your value, your worth. I just said that. And here's the Queen of Pentacles energy. Being smart, analytical, grounded. Growth, abundance. High priestess, listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Know what's the right thing to do. Moving and acting on that to your stability. If you want this to keep growing and to be stable for the long term, Ace of Wands. So they are fiery, passionate, getting that fire within your belly. So you got two aces here, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. This is something creative, something new, a new adventure. Um, it could be a new job, promotion. Um, or something here, a new creative project, whatever this is here, they're both divinely guided for you here with these two aces. But this is listening to your gut and your intuition and know your value and your worth and doing the right thing. So if you need to stand up to this person and end this cycle that's been going on, I feel like for a very long time, of just letting them 
say, say what they want to you, walking all over you, scrutinizing you, not giving you the respect, recognition you deserve, kind of energy. It's time to end that cycle. All right, so let's get the outcome. This is a nice two aces here. Outcome now. Knight of Wands, so that's you taking action. That's that Leo Sagittarius energy. That's that Ace of Wands lighting the fire under your butt and getting hold of that fire and saying, yeah, here I go. I'm going to put this person in their place where they belong. And sitting in your throne here, King and Queen of Pentacles. So, yep, <clears throat> sitting in your throne now. So you will stand up to this person and then you will sit in the throne. Chariot, so moving forward with determination, taking action, kind of energy, success, victory, balance. Moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition in that Knight of Wands energy. It's sitting pretty in your throne there. King or queen, doesn't matter. you got the king and queen of pentacles. So, wow, Leo. So bottom of the day, and now the emperor. Wow, emperor, empress, doesn't matter. So taking charge, taking the lead, taking control of your life, of this situation. And the king of wands. So there you are, king or queen of wands, doesn't matter. you got two kings here. So now, you know, you fiery, passionate energy. Yeah, there's been yeah, there's been a lot of hurt, hurtful things said, done between you and this person. Tower energy here could have been fights, disagreements, um, or them making you feel in this energy like a lot, and you never really doing anything about it. But now you have total happiness, joy, and fulfillment. I think your home life will be even better. Yeah, you would go home at night and feel like this, like oh why this person? I just can't. But you know what? I'm gonna get in my King of Swords energy here. And use this sword and just stop this now. Yeah, no more being in limbo about this. Now tempering the energy between the two of you within yourself. So you can do it. No more being in limbo with this and not taking action. It's time to use that sword. No more feeling like this every day. It's affecting your home life. This person just giving you heartache every single day. These tower moments. Now standing up, sitting in your throne, in your fire energy, taking lead, taking control of the situation. <coughs> Leo. So for the other signs I see here besides Capricorn, we do have Virgo, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, the world. That to me is earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I believe it's the fixed signs. I think it's Scorpio, Leo, and I don't remember the other signs, but um, Scorpio. Let's see here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. Cancer, Pisces. Pisces with the High Priestess. Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries again. Or some people call um, Scorpio, the Tower Scorpio. I don't know. Um... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius. So, yeah, I feel like by you finally standing up to this person, if this is making sense for you, it's really going to change everything. And I feel like it's something you need to do if, you know, you're moving forward in this new phase of your life. Um, you're going to be miserable, <laughs> miserable with this person if you don't finally stand up to them. All right, so I think the whole dynamic will change. I'm not saying it'll be best buds, but I think it's going to be more tolerable. I think it would be more of like an acquaintance. So let's see. And I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who are reached out for a personal reading, tip donated, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you. And uh, Leo, especially if you're new, you like my style, how I read, check out my channel. You like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. So we have here Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but something with the environment here. And we have sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. Exactly. 
I feel like this is a harsh chemical, uh, harsh chemical, harsh environment that you've put up with for a very, very long time. And it's now time to um, end this very sensitive cycle between you and this person. And we have inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Exactly. We did have the high priestess for your advice. Now you're getting more advice to follow your intuition and do not wait to do this. So let's get one more. One more for you, Leo. Endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Yeah, I feel like with the world, the cycle between you and this person of, of this energy needs to end like now. And we have home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupant. So I feel like, and I do see the fire energy here. So I do feel like once you change the dynamic of the situation, it's going to prove every other aspect of your life, including your home life energy here. We do have the king of queen of pentacles here. So you could be married to your soulmate because we do have a matching couple here. So if anyone is wondering about that, <laughs> I would say yes. So Leo, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.